Hey guys, Mr. Mill here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be learning how to draw the word kind in blocks. So let's get going. Welcome back to another video. This is Mr. Mill, and I'm gonna read you guys a new book. Now, this is supposed to be the sequel to um, Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. And I found this one at the library, and I thought, wow, that looks very similar. So I just found this out. Uh, it's the sequel. I didn't know they even had one. It's called Tomorrow I'll Be Kind. So today, let's just read it, and then we'll go from there. Tomorrow, I'll be helpful when I see someone in need. All right, I won't stand by or hesitate. I'll get up and take the lead. All right, tomorrow, I'll be patient. Your turn, I'll wait for you. And when I'm stuck, I won't give up. I'll take time to see it through. Tomorrow, I'll be gentle to creatures big and small. Thinking of what others need, I'll show tenderness to all. Tomorrow, I'll be honest to myself. Sorry, to myself, I'll be true and prove that you can trust in me through all I say and do. Tomorrow I'll be generous and show you how I care. <laughs> we all have ways of giving back and gifts that we can share. Oh my gosh, art. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be grateful for what you've given me Appreciating all I have, your love especially. Tomorrow I'll be kind, my heart my guiding light. The smallest spark of kindness shines through the darkest night. Tomorrow I'll be all the things I strive to be each day. Helpful, patient, gentle, honest, generous, grateful, and kind. And even when it's difficult, I'll work to find a way. But tonight I'm very sleepy, so now it's time to rest. I'll dream of all the good that comes when we all just try our best. All right, so we just read the book, um, Tomorrow I'll Be Kind, and it's a fantastic book. Uh, I was thinking about some awesome projects for uh, second grade, how to make the word look kind of cool, and it's really hard to do it without me being there. Uh, so I figured an easier project is to make blocks out of it and that way I can kind of get to know you more by adding more blocks and you can kind of add what you like into each of them and then with that I can probably do like kind of like a small about me thing with this project and I thought it would be pretty cool and uh, yeah we'll go from there so um, what you need is a piece of paper you want a pencil if you want some coloring supplies you may have some coloring supplies as well I have my art cart right here or you can have some crayons. Now, what we're gonna do is um, you're gonna have your paper, either printer paper or a sketchbook. You wanna make sure it's horizontal or landscape just like mine. Now, if it's like this, that's called portrait or vertical. Uh, but if you're in a sketchbook, then it's, it's hard to explain. But anyways, you wanna make sure your paper is like this. So, and again, if you're drawing a kitchen countertop or a coffee table, something that shouldn't be getting messy, um, you want to make sure you have something underneath, like a placemat, a newspaper, or another piece of paper underneath. That way, you don't ruin the table underneath. That's why I have this nice white table. I have a couple of scuff marks here and there, but that's just because it'll happen eventually. So, <laughs> You can use a ruler. You can fold the paper a little bit and draw a line that way. Or just do it me, like me. Just draw a line just like that. If, if I want to trace this, I can. Let's make it look like an actual block. Ta-da! So here's my first block. Uh, however, if you want to freehand it like this, I'm just going to draw a freehand uh, block like this. And I'm making it a little bit imperfect on purpose. That's fine too. So the purpose of this project is to draw at least four blocks. And each of those blocks is going to say the word kind. Just like this. And then you want to stack more blocks on top and around it. So just like this. Some more blocks and you can vary them in size if you'd like. That's cool too. And 
I'm just gonna put one, maybe one on top or two on the top. Just like that. Now, you can do like that, so four on the bottom, that's allowed. I'm gonna draw or trace this in marker so you guys can see it better from the camera. And uh, you don't have to trace it quite yet if you don't want to. And if you don't want to trace it at all, you don't have to either. So I'm gonna draw my blocks here. Um, I do suggest pencil first, just in case if you do mess up. So I did do pencil and I did not have to erase at all, but no one's perfect. I'm not perfect, I like to erase a lot, but for time consuming purposes, I will do this in marker. So I can put the word kind anywhere I want. I can put it on the bottom, I can put it in the middle, I can put it anywhere I'd like. So I'm gonna put mine kind of like cascading down. So maybe I'll put the K over here. Maybe I'll put the I over here. Maybe I'll put the N over here, and then the D over here. Cover it with some color. Just like this. Maybe I'll do K and blue. Maybe I'll do, huh. maybe I'll do the I in this color green, and now I already have the homestead colors, not done on purpose. Now I'll do an N in purple. And then maybe I'll do like, the D in orange, like that. And then, if I want to decorate it more, so I can get really detailed in these blocks. If I wanted to, I can kind of like do stripes like this. So if you want to do stripes in the blocks, you can. Um, I've seen kids do like polka dot. So I'm gonna take this blue and maybe do polka dots in here. Just like this. If you want to color them, you can. I'm gonna color the reverse edges of it. So like the dots stay white. I hope you guys enjoyed the book that I read. I didn't know that it had a sequel, so the predecessor of that book was Tomorrow I'll Be Brave. But I found the book called Tomorrow I'll Be Kind, and I thought, why not read it? So that's what I read to you guys. So there's that. Um, let's do some more blocks. Why don't I do zigzag with this color? I really like this color. Wow, that looks pretty. All right, maybe color one in like this to save time. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can just because I want to get through this video. I don't expect you guys to go as fast as me. You have art for an hour normally during the school year. So if I'm doing this in like 10 to 15 minutes, I expect you guys to take your time and make sure you guys are not messing up as you would if you were rushing. So maybe I'll do like squares for this one. Like blocks and blocks. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So you don't have to keep it like too detailed. Just keep it simple like how I did. And then here comes the fun part. Now, the reason why I call it to be like an about me video, maybe you can use these blank blocks to tell me something about you and tell your classmates about you if I decide to share it, which I hope I will. So, um, so if you did 10 blocks like how I did, you have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces to do whatever you want about you. So say for instance, maybe I'll draw a Husky Paw because I teach at Homestead. Maybe I'll draw a skateboard because I used to like skateboarding. Maybe I'll draw a video game controller because I like video games. But if you did more blocks like this and you did the word kind, look how many extra blocks you got. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve blocks. Double the amount. I don't need that. So let's um, go back and let's go over what I would probably draw on mine. So for me, I can show you guys some stuff. And again, I'd highly suggest to do this in pencil, but to save time, marker for me. So here we go. I like to play video games. So I'm just gonna draw a game controller on one block. Here's the keypad right there. And then there's little two buttons right there. And then his helmet has four buttons on one side. And there's grips. Ta-da! Um, maybe I like, which I do, I like Pokemon. I'll keep it simple. This is a smaller one. I think someone's texting me. And so Pokeball, so that's something I could do in a small block. Um, another thing I like is I like nature. I like going on walks. Maybe I'll draw something on the lines of, I don't know why I put this black marker away. Um, maybe a tree. And maybe the sun. And then some clouds and then me walking. So it could be just a stick figure because it's just, or me running, there you go. Because I like walking. Um, what else can I draw? Oh, I just talked about it earlier. I teach at Homestead Elementary. Might as well add a Husky Paw. 
Ta-da! Pretty cool. What else do I like? I like food, don't I? I like food, I like coffee. I'll play my little, maybe I'll draw both. So maybe I'll draw my favorite drink from Duncan, which is a latte, iced latte. And uh, I always ask for easy ice because they always like fill it with too much ice. So let's draw a couple of ice cubes here. There we go. There is my latte. And then for food, who doesn't like pizza? So I'll draw a pizza. I love pizza. Do you guys like pizza? I like weird toppings though, so. And hot sauce, I love hot sauce. I should draw hot sauce. I can add a lot of block and add hot sauce, but it's okay. Anyways, there's that. Um, for me, I'd probably color it now. So let's go over some color. So why don't I just pull out a couple and then we'll go from there. So why don't I do pizza in the meaning? There we go. Uh, my mocha is always in the bottom of the latte because I never mix it. <laughs> There's some brown over there. I don't need any brown anywhere else. Why don't I do this husky paw green and blue also to represent the husky colors. There we go. Kind of added. There we go. Ah! There we are. All right, husky paw done. Um, I have a. Oh, let me show you guys. I got a orange controller. So I just color this orange like this. There's a D-pad here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, well. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. All right. I think the rest is black on the controller, but I don't want to make it completely black. It'd be too boring, so I'm just going to add it to make it look gray. There we go. Pokeball. Let's make the top. Oh, the top. Top is red. There we go. Pokeball done. Coffee is almost done. I think I should do crayon for the coffee. The latte, there you go. Done. Um, I could probably use that same brown, but I don't want to, for the pizza. And the pepperoni, I shall do red orange. And then add some hints of yellow for the cheese. There you go. Ta-da. All right. I'm not done. <laughs> There's so much other stuff to do. All right, here we go. Here's a tree. It's grass. I can use sky blue. Over here. Make sure I don't hit the sun. Make sure I don't hit me. Make sure I don't hit the clouds. Clouds are not blue. There we go. All right. And then all I gotta do is some patterns in the background and then I'm done. So let's get going. Let me put away these markers because I don't want to do it in marker. I want to do it in... So first things first, let's do stripes. Let's do vertical stripes for this one. And it looks like I got an orange crayon. Uh, didn't do that on purpose. There we go. Why don't I do spirals for this one? For Duncan. Duncan it has purple, doesn't it, in this design? I don't know. There we go. Maybe the pizza, I will do tiny Dorito triangles in this color. And then to add some more color, maybe I'll add some polka dots of, let's see, red maybe? I don't know. And this kind of pinkish color, and this one. All right, I rushed it, and I'm not done quite yet. Let's do wavy lines for the Pokeball, and then color in between. All right. My kind blocks are done. So this is the finished product. Make sure you clean up after yourself when you're done. You don't want your parents cleaning up after you or anyone else. But that's it. It says the word kind. Cool project. Um, it was just kind of an icebreaker for me to get to know you guys. Um, so you guys know I like video games. You guys know I like Pokemon. Pizza, lattes, and I love Homestead and walking. And uh, so that's that. Uh, kind of like drive away from the, the concept of the book, but at least we read it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But anyways. Hope you guys like this art project. If you would like to share it with me, I would love to share it with everyone else or just show it to me, and that's fine too. Um, you can email me. I'll have a link below. Uh, that'd be great, and we'll go from there. So, hope you guys like this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.